from Sanket Agrawal. I'm from Nagpur. I'm an F a second year engineering student from Kijas Amaya. Engineering, I don't know how many I come up. But I only want to do something of myself. And then I want to join my dad in future. He's an industrialist. I got the inspiration of doing something myself from my dad. I'm Kritika Kriplani, second year engineering student, Telecom. And my dad is a businessman. So even I want to be a businessman's daughter. Like I, have to, I want to help him in his business. Hello, I'm Kumar Bhavaya. I'm from Sumaya Engineering College. And my dad too does business. I didn't start with our dream. It wasn't our dream in the early part. We came to the hostel and we realized that we are always out of stock of food. We get it from our house, but in a couple of weeks we run out of it. Then we were introduced to a shop inside the hostel itself that was known as Snack Bar. It's owned by some MBA senior. And later, when he was about to enter to his examination period, he was about to close them. But we had a contact with him and he gave us the authority to use that shop. Now we are owning it, me and two of my roommates, and the girls and one of their roommates. And we sell, uh, sell some of the packed foods. And this is really important because uh, the hostel the area gates get closed after 10.30 so we are not allowed to go out and even the mess gets closed after 9.30. And in fact the students in the hostel really are nocturnal, they are up at least till 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. So there is a period after 12 a.m. when everyone is really hungry so they really want to have something to eat. This is a period when we provide them with food. This is really tasty food and this is really filling. So And it's not very expensive so everyone, everyone can really afford it. And we have a minimal margin and now we have even expanded it uh, to branded products like Kaldiram, Baker Street and we are even planning to provide them with cold drinks. So at summer time they don't really sweat out. And it just started with the hostel in the boys section, later it got expanded into girls sections. Now it's even getting expanded to the engineering se engineering college and we are even planning to open a shop in the campus itself. Then we came up with new ideas. So we'll tell about the new idea. And we plan to open a cafeteria where there will be all sort of entertainment provided like TV matches are going on so we can sit and have the snacks which we are providing them like TV all sorts of entertainment Alright We plan that we, we will make a place where people will come and cook their own food we will charge them and food um, raw materials will also be provided by us like Something which will help both of them and even there will be someone for safety things mm -hmm. so instead of just having food that we provide them regularly, they can cook up their own food and if that, that's a hit or something, we can really ask that person to cook it for us so that in that way, that person can uh, like himself own or herself own something from us Okay Planning, Whatever, like the students shouldn't go out from the campus to buy something yeah. every daily required thing, that might be a toothpaste, toothbrush from toiletries or anything else books, pen, pencils, even the Xerox things, that should be provided in our store itself that is what we are planning, but we, want to, we really want to start with the food because food has always been an issue in hostels even the mess food which we eat regularly gets boring after a week or two. Even in the uh, this thing, canteens that we have, there might be a variety of foods, but whenever we sit to order something, we are always confused what to order because this is something we have it regularly. We face this regularly. So we want to provide them with more of variety where they can munch up. That's not, that will not fill up their th tummy. But when they are sitting in class, there is a section of period, if for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, in which they really want to fog up something. And it's not possible for them to run from the class to the canteen and get it. We are thinking of something to open up some kind of shop in every floor or something like packed food, say lays or something. Why to restrict ourselves just to our camp? We can even like go out of hostels. From in-camp hostels, we can even go to out camp hostels and to different colleges which are having hostels into the canteens and then even like their shops over there. We can provide our stuff out to the shops also. So like just not in Mumbai then we can even expand. Like this was a small plan from our hostel and it got expanded to girls section hostel. So we are just planning to expand it up.